A dead car battery is a common issue when people need roadside help. To avoid this, your car battery should always be fully charged, but if it keeps losing power, you need to figure out why. Once you understand the cause, you can fix it. This video explains the most common reasons for a battery that won't stay charged and shows you how to solve the problem. Check it out and subscribe to learn more. Parasitic Drain Your car battery powers many things, sometimes parts like a trunk light, a computer system, or even a bad relay might keep using power when they shouldn't. This drains the battery. If you keep charging your battery but it still dies, you should check if something is secretly using its power, called a parasitic drain. Bad Alternator If you've put in a new car battery but it still won't stay charged, it's time to check the alternator. The alternator's job is to charge the battery while the engine is on. If you can jumpstart the battery but it dies again after a few minutes, the alternator might not be working. Generally, alternators last for 80,000 miles or more. Low quality battery. Buying a new car battery can feel expensive, especially as prices keep rising. However, it's not a good idea to go for the cheapest option just to save money. A low quality battery usually doesn't last as long as one from a trusted brand. If your battery won't hold a charge, it might be because the quality isn't good enough. Investing in a reliable battery can save you trouble in the long run. Corroded battery cables. If your car battery isn't old and the alternator works fine, but the battery still won't charge, it might be because of corrosion. Corrosion happens when the sulfuric acid in the battery releases hydrogen gas. This gas reacts with the air, causing a chemical reaction that leads to corrosion on the terminals or cable connectors. The corrosion blocks the connection, which stops the battery from charging properly. Bad battery. Car batteries don't last forever. Most of them work well for about three to five years. If the battery is too old, it might stop holding a charge or fail to respond to a jump start. In that case, the only fix is to get a new one. Blown fuse. Most cars have two fuse boxes. One is under the steering wheel near the floor and the other is usually under the hood. These boxes contain fuses that protect the car's systems from electrical overload. If the fuse for the alternator blows, it won't be able to charge the car battery anymore only driving short trips. The alternator charges your car battery while you drive, but it needs enough time and higher speeds, like on highways, to do the job properly. Short trips, like just driving a mile into town and back, won't give the alternator enough time to fully charge the battery, and it may keep losing power. Taking longer drives, even just for fun, can help keep your battery charged. How to fix. Step 1. Test the battery. If your car battery won't hold a charge, the first thing to do is test it. Some auto parts stores will test your battery for free and even install a new one if you buy it from them. If you want to check it yourself, here's how. Turn on the high beam, headlights for one minute, with the engine off to remove the surface charge. Then, set your multimeter to measure direct current or DC voltage and adjust the dial to 20 volts. Attach the red lead to the positive terminal and the black lead to the negative terminal. If the multimeter shows a negative number, the leads are connected the wrong way. A good car battery should read 12.6 volts or more. If it reads lower, charge the battery and test it again. If it still doesn't work, you might need to replace it. Step 2. Check the charging system. You can have your alternator checked at auto parts stores, or you can test it yourself. To do it on your own, set your multimeter to 20 dCV. Attach the black cable to the negative terminal and the red cable to the positive terminal of the battery. Start the car and let the engine run. The multimeter reading should be higher than the battery's reading, usually between 13.5 and 14.5 volts. This shows that the alternator is charging the battery properly. If the reading is lower, the alternator might have a problem. Step 3. Diagnose parasitic drain. If your car battery and alternator are fine but the car still dies, there might be something draining the battery. This is called a parasitic drain and finding it can be tricky. Here's how you can check. Take off the negative battery cable. Use a multimeter to connect the black lead to the cable and the red lead to the negative battery post. Set the multimeter to 20 amps. While someone watches the multimeter, remove fuses one by one. When the reading on the multimeter drops, you found the source of the drain. Check your car's owner manual to identify what the fuse controls and fix the issue. Step 4. Check fuses. Locate the fuses connected to the charging system and check if they are blown. A blown fuse will have a broken wire inside it. To fix the charging system, replace the faulty fuse with a new one of the same amperage rating. Step 5. Longer trips. If your daily routine keeps your car battery from charging properly, it's time to adjust. Try combining several small trips into one longer drive to give the alternator enough time to charge the battery. If longer drives aren't possible, use a battery charger to keep it fully charged. A trickle charger or battery maintainer can help ensure the battery is always in good shape and ready to use. 
Step 6. Contact a professional. The battery and alternator are complex parts and it's best not to work on them if you're unsure how they function. If you're stuck or don't know what to do, it's a good idea to reach out to a professional. Many stores offer free testing for batteries and alternators, so you can rule out issues with them before deciding to call a mechanic.